Hey, BJ Peters here, and I'm excited to share with you a really fun fold technique today. I got a swap card in Minneapolis, and I just had to recreate it. And here's the card, and I did it using the Succulent Garden uh, Designer Series paper and stamp set. Let's get started, and I'll show you this fun technique. So here's the card. I got this one at a Stampin' Up! event in Minneapolis. It's from someone, I don't have their name, but I loved it. And this is where I got my pattern off of. So this is the Floral Boutique um, Designer Series paper with the Dragonfly Dreams. I know it's retiring. I'm certainly going to miss it. And then I created this one using the Succulent Garden Designer Series paper. Made it into a Mother's Day card. Used the stitch shape framelit for a, a little different look. And look at the layering squares, how nice that is. If you don't yet have the layering squares, look at the detail and the gorgeousness that that creates by layering them together. It's so good. And of course, the succulent garden paper. So as I open this up, you can kind of see how it would um, fold out or even sit on someone's desk. You know, so cute. So let's create it with a little different um, twist to it. This is powder pink, which is one of the new 2017 to 2019 in colors. And I've gone ahead and gotten a little head start on it so that I can explain it to you just a little bit more. You may be wondering where the where this designer paper is from and you're probably wondering when can I get it or how can I get it, what's it called? Well, it is a whole pack of paper Look at this. So the Berry Burst, the Fresh Fig, the Powder Pink, the Lemon Lime Twist, and the Tranquil Tide. So it's the 2017-2019 in colors. And it's called Fresh Florals Designer Series Paper Stack. And it's in the 20 in the new catalog. So June 1st, you'll be able to order it. I love it. So obviously, as you can tell. And it makes a gorgeous card, as you can tell. So you're gonna have to have it, right? All right, let's start with measurements. Here is um, the card folded out. This is five and a half inches by 11 inches. You are gonna score at one and a fourth inches, four inches, and six and a fourth inches. Okay, and then you're gonna fold it into this, this kind of a, um, I, I guess it's like an M pattern or a W pattern depending upon how you're gonna, how you look at it, okay? The front panel here your designer series paper is going to be one inch by five and a fourth inches. And I chose on this one to put the same designer series paper on the inside. So one inch by five and a fourth. This next panel is two and a half inches by five and a fourth inches. Love that pattern. And then I will be putting another panel here that we're going to stamp together. That's two and a half inches by five and a fourth. And this back panel is four inches by five and a fourth inches. So really fun. Well, let's look at stamping that inside. So here is my two and a half inch by five and a fourth inch strip of designer series paper. And I'm actually gonna use a newer stamp set called Daisy Delight. Got some fun little um, images here and I'm just gonna stamp a cute little flower off to the side here. So here I'm gonna use uh, basic gray and powder pink. So here is my stem. Going to do that little dance and get that on there like that. And then I'm going to stamp my flower. I'm going to stamp this piece off. There we go. And then I'm going to stamp this one directly. Cute little flower. Just nice and dainty. Let's see it up close. There you go. And then, gotta love that this is photopolymer because there is little blossoms that line up along this stem and because it's photopolymer you can see them to line it up straight through and line those little blossoms right up right on that look at how nice that is Isn't that cute i'm going to add a little greeting here in basic gray your thoughtfulness brightened my day what a beautiful thank you card this will be. And then let's see, I used the back side too. It was my playing side. Put that right on there like that. All right, now let's add a little bit to the front here. Move this off to the side. 
What I've gone ahead and done is I've used, again, my layering squares. Really, seriously, you got to have them. And created this little basic gray and the square piece. So let's put them together. Just like that. And I think I'm going to put this on here to it at an angle, just like this. So I'm going to use, because it's, go it's going to take a little bit of... Um, movement i'm going to actually use some sticky strip i'm sorry not sticky strip it's the tear and tape adhesive because it's you don't have all those little pink pieces flying all over the place so just a little bit stronger adhesive so let's get that point lined up there i'm going to put it towards the bottom i think just like that there we go and then i've gone ahead and used the daisy again from the daisy delight stamp set and the new daisy punch and created two um, daisies let's put them on there I'm gonna pop it up on dimensionals here what a fun spring card I am ready for spring I just telling you we had very nice weather a few days ago and it is gone feels like it's back to the Arctic Look at that, I love that. You know what, it just needs a little bit of a finishing touch and I have something new. Clear faceted gems. Woo! Look at how cute this is going to be with one of these right here in the middle. And they come with the glue dots on the back. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. Isn't that not fabulous or what? Wouldn't you love to get that card in the mail? Look at how nice it'll look sitting on your desk. Oh, yes. Thanks for stopping by my blog today. Have a great day. Stamp and feel great. And don't forget, when you want to purchase any of these items, to stop by my online store at stampandbj.com. Bye, everybody.